RC, the MX-5, season two, round one, call it MX-5. We're just in qualifying at the moment. It's 12 minutes of qualifying. And then a 15 minute feature race. And then a 30 minute, no, 15 minute sprint race. And then a 30 minute feature race so we're all probably on our outlaps at the moment Ryan Graham's waiting seeing what is going to happen Cthulhu he's finished his outlap and he's on his fast lap now Trying to get some thin air behind him. He's keeping it nice and neat, touching those apexes, lovely. needed to get a great lap time. We'll soon find out. It's just got to get through the chicane. No dramas there. One seventeen five. Casper with a one seventeen one going top of the field. Kale with a one seventeen oh no Siberian with a one sixteen six now taking provisional pole. And I believe that's everyone across the line, is it? Jokers. One nineteen two keeps him in fifth. Noxy is coming along. Is he going to find himself? Through the chicane. To the start finish straight. Oh no, that's. I've just looked up. It says a 150 something. It's not going to be a good. A 151. Keeps you in eighth. As. Oh, Graham's now coming around. And he's uh, up. It's the fastest with the purple. Alarand has just joined the room, so now I'm expecting um, after qualifying it might be cancelled to go into maybe the sprint race with him in last place. But we'll see what the host decides to do. Graham's still up. I are Graham. Just through the chicane on to start finish straight. Maybe get a little toe off of Jokus. 116.2 takes pole by three tenths, nearly four tenths. Siberian Tiger, second up to 16.5, which was a uh, you know, tenth faster. Kale's second lap wasn't so hot. Tulu, oh, he knocked half a second off of his time and he's up again. Casper back in fifth, his third lap wasn't beaming. He just put a 119 in. He's going up seven. Two tenths behind Jokas. Koi Carp, tenth. Behind Noxy with a 119.4. Cthulhu just bettered his time up there into thirds. 16.8. That's put him 0.144 ahead of Kale. But Casper has jumped in with a 16.7 to take third. Our Graham's still sitting there on the pole, quite comfortable. No one's getting close to that so far. Good car, done a 118, put himself up into sixth place. Just behind Kale and ahead of Jokas. He's broke the 19, he's going to 18-7 territory. No, 
Galaxy. His last lap was a 19.3, so he's put himself one and a half tenths behind Joe Cass. Carbon Dwarf, he seems to be waiting for the right moment. But burning off fuel would be better. We're all burning off fuel to get a faster time. Noxie's just put in 18.7, it's put him ahead of Koi Carp. Great move, great work. Koi Carp's coming round, he's, has he got an answer on this lap? He's going through a sector. He's up, he's up a tenth on his own time, it'd be enough to get past Noxie. There's more movement, Casper's gone fastest. He's gone fastest, we're at 15.7. Siberian Chaos 16.8. Quick up, can he jump, Noxie? Yes, by half a second. Where did that come from? 18.2. He's only a second and three tenths behind Cthulhu. I are Graham. He said another fastest lap time, but not the fastest lap time of the session. Still trading Casper by two tenths. Look at that, 15.7. Cars are getting lighter, the time should be dropping each lap. Siberian with 16.4 in their third place. Is there more to come? He's tenth up, quite won't make that much of a dent in Graham's time. He's coming round to the chicane. I'm sure there's a lot of time can be gained from the chicane. Oh, a little bit over the edge and gets himself a 16.3. Faster, but it's not jumped. IR Graham. IR Graham looks like he's up. He's got a purple. Oh, half a second up. My word. My word. Half a second. Crosses the line with a 15.4. New pole sitter, provisional pole setter, IR Graham, with 15.4. So, Casper, what have you got in your trunk? Time to get it out. So, so far we have IR Graham in pole. Yet again on another faster lap. Um, Casper in second place, the flying fin. Can't be touched. Third place, Siberian Tiger. Nearly a second off of pole. In fourth place, Catula. Just put it into fourth place with 16.5. The Spaniard is flying. Kale, he's taking a new line through that corner, seeing how we are. Oh, he's. Yeah. Noxie. His last lap was his best lap with a 17.7. He's in sixth place. Nine tenths behind Kale and four tenths ahead of Koi Carp. So, VRC Koi Carp in seventh. 18.2 is his fastest so far. Let's just put it up into 8th with an 18.8, .8. very nice, 6 tenths off of Koi Car, 2 tenths ahead of Jokus who's in last place at the moment, ooh that car looks battered at the front, I think underneath all those dents there's eyes, snake eyes. Graham still holding pole position with a three tenth breathing space, and there's only a minute left, so this is probably everyone's last runs. So we'll go with 
by our Graham crossing the line with a a 15.6 Casper come on you're in your last chance of getting this uh, pole position my friend it's just three tenths it's only three tenths it's nothing isn't it even if that's a half a tenth each corner you could easily get pole quick card for setting new time put himself into sixth ahead of Noxie behind Kale it's 23 seconds left of quality so everyone crossing the line these people crossing the line now Kale with 16 but Cthulhu's come back at him with a 16-4 and there was a 16-4 6-8 so those two are swapping positions oops Coy 17-5 on his last time around that was a great move we're on the final lap now Noxie's sat it in the uh, Park Ferme early my work's done he says he's happy with what he's done Jokus got back ahead of Carbon for the battle at the back oh Carbon's got his hazards oh he's done that must be over for him IR Graham hazards on yeah he's done for the day done done Tula still going round still may have a, an opportunity to get that four thousands on Siberian Tiger can he do it doesn't seem like it no 13 seconds down oh yeah we saw him having off but in the meantime something's happened Tula no that's already happened but he's on a lap I believe looks like he's on a lap Could... oh Kale jumped him in his last lap but he could come back no and that to me looks like that's our finishing positions people I are Graham on pole Casper in second Siberian Tiger third Kale in fourth Cthulhu in fifth VRC Koikarp in 6th assume Noxie in 7th Jokers in 8th Carbon taking up the last place so that was a great qualifying session with only 3 tenths deciding pole and 2nd I mean it's a sec a second up to fifth. So here we go for the main uh, well for the sprint race. Fifteen minutes blast around Goodwood to see who comes out on top. Siberians catching in on him. Casper's fallen behind Siberian. Siberia had the best start out of the lot of them. Kale's holding his fourth place ahead of Koi. Koi jumped Katula. Great start. For Breathing down Siberia's neck. Siberian Tiger's neck. I are Graham. He's, he's holding out that first place even got himself a bit of a gap I think yeah eight tenths of a gap in the first lap come out of the uh, stores like a bullet Siberian Tiger jumping Casper off of the line and, and Coy right at the back Noxy hold held position I believe Jokes held position and Carbon oh he's three and a half seconds behind I don't know may have had a small spin off nice. so uh, Graham holding the lead they're all going through the chicane oh we've had an off we've had an off oh it's Coy oh no 
this is not good at all. In these cars, the, the, the lap times are so close together. When you fall away from the pack, it's very hard to get back into the pack with a 15-minute race. He, he might find himself he's going to be trawling around the back there for a while. Our Graham now is pulling out 1.1 leads with the fastest outlap and all stop start in that. Siberian Tiger. He's found himself a little bit of space from Casper. He's, he's not got him down his back too much, I think. His tail went wide there. Yeah, it looks wide. He's dropping away from the, the front trio. And playing into Noxie's hands. It's only a second behind. No, Noxie's having a bit. Oh, my. But this all works for people like Coy, who's already had a... Oh, Noxie. Oh, dear. Find that tarmac. Yeah, back on it. So, Coy Car is up one position already from a spin, so... And he looks like he's catching carbon. Oh no, it wasn't Noxy. It was Siberian. Tiger is on a big off. Casper's passed him. He's making it hard work for himself. After booing the fastest lap time as well. But it's no massive loss. It's only 1.6 seconds behind Casper, so he, he can claw that back, hopefully. Although Casper's times, so they're not. They're not slow. 16.4. IR Graham, look. No one's bothering him. He can just concentrate on a nice empty road ahead of him. Is that working yet? No. Nice empty road up ahead of him. No fear. It looks like he's doing the fastest lap time. He's four seconds ahead. Well, sorry, every time. Where's Casper? I apologise. He's had an off. He's down in fifth. Carbon Dwarf. Noxy. Carbon. There's lots of movement going on. I don't know if I've missed something. A lap. Carbon Dwarf ahead of Noxy. Koi Cart back at the back. I thought Noxy had had such an off. Casper, again, he's going all the way to the back. This is strange. Oh, he's got a massive bit of damage to the front side of his car, onto the front right-hand uh, fender. It's fixed now, but he must have hit the chicanes, those solid chicanes. He's down in seventh, being harassed by the pole of Jokas. Carbon, who I was saying, oh dear, this is three seconds behind the pack, is now sitting quite happy in fifth place and doing an okay job. Ten minutes left of the race. IR Graham still up ahead, just done another fastest start with a 15 A. And a five and a half second lead on Siberian Tiger. Did a 90, 17 one. A bit off the pace. No, he can do a lot faster than that. That's crazy. Kale is up into third. He's doing nice steady 17s. Trying to reel in Siberian Tiger. And he's got a three second lead on Cthulhu. Who's doing good lap times? Sticking to it. These four have really pulled away from the rest of the pack. Carbon, only a one and a half second lead on Noxie. Noxie pulling him in with an 18. Yeah, 18 and a half. Lap time, Casper. It's already got past Koi Carp and Jokas, I think. personal fastest got a got a fire in his belly I believe from being in second down to seventh it's not a good point to haulage from him imagine he wants more and 
Noxie is in his way of getting it. Seven tenths, six tenths. They're both catching up Carbon Dwarf. Koi's not, not finding his rhythm around the, the good wood, I believe. He might be distracted by other things, so who knows. Uh, Graham still banging them out. 16-3, 16-1, 15-8, leading the race by 8 seconds now. Siberian Tiger, he might be starting to feel that pressure from Kale. It could well be that the Brit is feeling pressure from South Africa. I think Tudor isn't too far behind. If these two race each other and slow each other down a bit, Tudor could easily catch up to the rear end of uh, the fight for second and join it. 17.6 on his last start, but he's up on his fastest on this lap. So maybe just seeing those two catching each other has given him the. Uh, well, Casper's got past Noxie. He's coming up to overtake Carbon Dwarf. Trying to find a place to do it. And then I think Carbon Dwarf made it really easy for him by taking the long route in that corner. Now Kasper's up to fourth, but he's 20 seconds behind Katuda, and he's going to have to do some very awesome, awesome lap times from now on in to, to catch the, the battle up ahead. And yes, it does... No, he's dropped off a little bit, Katuda. These two are very much in battle mode. So Siberian Tiger done a 17.6 on his last time round. Oh, and Kale's done a 16.5. We, we must say that we think there is every chance that Kale's going to be wanting to get past Siberian Tiger by the end of this lap, even. With that much speed. And it all comes out wide. Siberian Tiger pull it back out to a second. Yeah, nearly a second and a half. Judah still trying to crack him in, 17-8. Casper's pulled in two seconds already on, on Judah. Like I said, it, ooh, 16-6. He is absolutely flying. Absolutely flying. Noxy has kept his nose clean, head down. Just cracked on. Found himself in a nice sixth place. It's a good point in sixth. In his seven up Mazda. It's great. Jokers. Seems to be quite far back in the early days, but. He's ahead of Carbon by three and a half seconds. Seven cell, oh, no. Commentator's curse was it. Should I never come over here and spoke about Jokers and how well he was doing? Well, Carbon's doing really well. He's up into seventh place. He was ahead of Noxie earlier. He was in sixth place. Ten seconds behind Noxie now. He's dropped from the 90s into the 24s for some reason. I think he got lapped in one of the laps, but... Oh, he's back on track now. He's going faster than he's gone so far in the race. He's really found a bit of pace. There's a yellow flag. Someone's off. Noxie threw it off. They're, they're, he wants Carbon to have his sixth place back. Carbon going over the line to get his fastest lap off. Uh, lost a bit somewhere. So up ahead we have IR Graham with a 12 second lead. Just kept that car straight in the 16s throughout the whole race. Kale got past. Oh my. Siberia Tigers had a terrible lap last lap. 
127, drop behind Kale and Cthulhu. It's terrible. Will that work? And I mean, it's only three minutes to go, but Casper's only 11 seconds behind Siberia Tiger doing 16.8 and a 16, no, 16.6 and 16.5. They're great lap times. It's pulled so much off of carbon. Carbon's still got that sixth place. But Noxie is catching him. Koi Carp is ahead of Chokus, who looks like he's not having a great race. Oh, he had that big off when we were watching him, didn't we? Looks like he might have had more off since then. Koi Carp. He's finding his pace now. He's done the last four laps of 19. So, yeah, he's getting into the swing of it. Ready for the feature race, I guess. And he'll be high up the grid, I believe. The feature race is the reverse of the finishing of the full... Oh, eighth. Knocks his off again. I think we must have hit a barrier. So, with two minutes left of the race, I.R. Graham has got a comfortable 13 seconds lead over... Kale was only 2.8 seconds ahead of Cthulhu. So he is being hunted and should feel the pressure. And although Cthulhu isn't going as fast, 17 ho and 17 4. So Kale's 16, 17 4, 17 5. So them two are kind of holding station. Siberia Tigers trying to come back, but it's all a bit late now. The car looks tidy, so it must have just gone wide or something. Casper! No! It's not where you want to be. Pushing too hard, maybe? He's done a load of 16s. And Coy! Coy from nowhere! Carbon's down! Carbon's down in last place from holding sixth place quite happily. He's behind Jokus. Noxie. Koi Kart coming, look, found his, found his rhythm and, and he's been rewarded with 6th place, it's amazing. With only a minute left of the race to go. Great stuff. Great stuff. So, at the back there. No. Who's pitting? You can't pit, it's a sprint race, you don't pit in a sprint race. What? No, that's he's going to get a penalty for that because you can't you can't pit in a sprint race. You've just got to get that fuel and them tyres to last. Everyone wants fuel, but it's the end of the race. The Siberian Tiger doesn't need fuel. He's quite comfortable. Cthulhu. This feels tight. Casper is he's got plenty of fuel. He's he's oh, I don't know. He's waiting for that time to run out so he can finish, is it? And there you go. Yeah, Casper, well done. He's finished in fifth place. Quick up, comes round for sixth. He's fuel tanks flashing. Noxie round seventh. Very good. Jokus, oh, Jokus and Carbon are having a bit of a ding dong, but it looks like Jokus is coming out on top. Oh, Carbon's got a run on him. Nice little bit of action to end the day with. Oh, he's on the break, this side by side. Oh, edged ahead. Edged ahead, right on the last lap. IR Graham's finished, Kale's finished. Oh, Carbon, you threw away. You had him. Siberian Tigers finished. Cthulhu has finished in fourth. Why has Cthulhu... Oh, Cthulhu run out of fuel. But I don't suppose it matters, because everyone else has finished. Yeah, controversial. I.R. Graham topped up. Topped up with fuel. I don't know if that's a legal move. He might find he's going to lose that win. Congratulations for the time being, I.R. Graham, with your pole position, your fastest lap, and the win, but... Yes, it's, it's illegal to fuel stop.
in the sprint race. So I think he might find himself with a, a hefty penalty for that. And we'll find out. Interesting. So the, the race results. I R Graham win it, but he did stop for fuel. So it's the jury will be out whether or not he'll hold that position. He's only 5.3 seconds ahead of Kale in second place. Great race from him. Siberian Tiger in third to finish off the podium positions. Cthulhu. Finished down in fourth. It looked like he'd run out of fuel. And that must be how Siberian Tiger got the third place back. Casper in fifth. It says a lap down, but it wasn't really. Koi Karp, great sixth place from nowhere. Had an interesting race. Found his found his pace and then waited for unfortunate look from Noxie Jokers and Carbon that you know, struggled to keep the cars on the track. But, great race. Now we've moved into the settings for the feature race, the 30 minute race. And we've got a start in about 7 minutes. So we'll just sit tight. And see how it goes.
So we're practicing for the feature race of round one, BRC Max 5 series, the little Mazda MX-5s, full power and minimum weight. Looks like Cthulhu is the fastest of the session so far, by only, wow, five thousandths, with a 118.0. The host has asked everyone if they're ready, so it looks like we'll be underway at any time. Oh, I can go in car now. What's going on? This is amazing. They wouldn't let me do that, all the part, first part of the, the race, so... Something's changed, obviously. So Tar Taraland was the second fastest with an 18.059, next to his 18.054. Carbon Dwarf, third fastest with a 20.2. Casper, fourth fastest of the session with a 23.1. Kale. Time really got to his outlap and then thought there was a bit of grass needs mowing over there. Maybe it was a bit of grass that he, he didn't cross during the sprint race. I R Graham sat in his car contemplating whether or not that pit stop was legal or illegal. Okay, maybe they have to use two compounds. Someone just asked about hard tyres, so... And the final's been started, so here we go. Everyone's in. Here we go. For the Virtual Racing Club. Max 5, Season 2, Round 1 at Goodwood. Feature race. Tyler Rand on pole, because he didn't quite make it for qualifying for the sprint. Carbon on second, Jokers third, Noxy fifth, fourth, Koikart fifth, Casper sixth, two Cthulhu seventh, Siberian Tiger eighth. Oh, it's a rolling start as well to help the slower people. Places, three places. What's he doing? Six play. Oh, and he knocked Siberian Tiger off. That might be a penalty for him. And he's gone off himself. Oh my, that's not nice. So Carbon, Siberian Tiger, and Carbon's going back on. Oh dear. Casper all over the back of Koi Car, trying to make up some places from the back. Talaran's down. Talaran's down to third place. Jokus and Noxie are past Talaran. Must have put a wheel wrong. Interesting. Tula now catching up. Tula's got past a few people and I are Graham. Good cup still holding off Casper and Kale back there. Siberian Tiger trying to come back from his off he had with Carbon. Carbon Dwarf. Shame. 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 I didn't see it well enough to say. But it did look like he moved over in Siberian. Tiger's way. Oh no, that's not how you come back. So here in Tiger, slowly catching up the field ahead of him at the front now. Noxy is in the lead. I R Graham and Cthulhu have caught him up. And nice smooth move on the insides. Talarant, Koykarp and Casper have just got past Kale. Siberian Tigers caught him up as well. My word. He's got a lot of work on his hands holding all of those people behind him. He's doing it well. It's like Casper. No, I thought Casper was upside of him then, but he's not. IR Graham has taken the lead. 
Kutula and that's in third. Talleyrand in fourth, then there's a big gap for this little Chore. Social distancing boys. Mm, look at this. All four of them onto the same piece of tarmac. But for the time being, Quickart's holding them off. So coming round to the chicane, this could be scary, no no moves. Oh, Carl, I thought you hit a post then, but no. I think it was just the, the lag. Gasper's lining coil up, Quickart up. Going for the inside line. Oh, lovely move. No messing. And Kale sneaked through. And Siberian Tiger sneaked through as well. Ah, oh, poor Koi. Don't think he uh, expected to lose all three places in that one corner. Probably could live with just losing it to Casper. Talleran now is catching up with Noxie. He's in a race, doesn't want to forget. He's getting nice and close. Oh, he moves off it down straight. He's got to wait for the chicane. No, no, because Noxie's decided to go that really long line around that corner. He gives Tyler around third place. So now Talleyrand's just got to head down, crack on, and, and that's the way to do it. The fastest laps to catch up. Kutula is doing a 17-7 last, so a bit of work, but he can do it. Kutula with the wrong max 5 on the side, I think they're meant to be red, but... Spaniards now 4.4 seconds behind IR Graham. The Brit is on fire today. Goodwood is his track, isn't it? He's just not messing about. He's... ...this event. The fastest lap time, 15.9. I don't know if anyone's going to the 15s. And he's uh, not messing about. Tudor in second. BRC third, Casper well away on fourth, he's got past Noxy, Koi Karp, where did Kel, Kel was flying, and so was Siberian Tiger who's also down there, Carbon, he's just out for a Sunday, well though, he's got a good lap time, he's, he's finding his place, Siberian Tiger, I'm surprised to see him down in ninth place, Jokus, slowly creeping up, Kale, oh, Coy. Coy's had an off. And a penalty. Four is off. Kel is in the pits. He's not messing around. Just four laps in. He's decided to go for the hards. Maybe he's going for the rest of the race. And that's it. The long game. Oh dear. Things have gone wrong. I think Kale's got stuck in the pits. That can't be good. I are Graham showing second place. Oh no, two is third, but he's not because Kale's not in first. Talleyrand. Casper's got a penalty. Knox is catching up to him. Chokas. Head of Siberian. Head of Koikarp. He's ahead of Carbon Dwarf. And Kale's still trying to get out of the pit lane in my view. My R. Graham's just taken first. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. Is that, it's probably just on my feed. I should come out and go back in again. That is funny. Go on, no go, no go, 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 no go. What happens when everyone else pits? Is it going to be in the way? Who knows? Casper up into third. Where's Talleyrand? Talleyrand, oh no! That is not good. I'm sure he's had a knock in the uh, chicane. He's taken many of us out. He won't be the last. So, let's put him down to sixth place by behind Siberian Tiger. 
tail could be in this race, for all I know, I don't know. It's not going to show up on my feet, it's just going to show up in the pits, I think. Casper is still carrying a bit of a, a penalty. See, that's the worry, because Casper was behind Talleyrand. Talleyrand's off, and Casper's carrying a penalty, you know. You could say some shenanigans happen, but it probably wasn't. Probably nothing. Tudor, having a lonely race, all on his own there. Nearly 10 seconds behind I.R. Graham. And 8 seconds ahead of Casper. So, it's great stuff, really. Couldn't ask for much more. Maybe I.R. Graham to, to fall off the track. But other than that, it's good. Good lap time, that last one, from 17s to 18s. Oh, he's got hards on. He must have started with hards. So maybe the hards are only just starting to wake up. I.R. Graham started on the mediums. Which does probably explain why he was straight away into the 16s. And that he's fast as well. Oh no. What did he do in 18? I thought he said 16. Oh, this is going crazy. Casper also started on the hards and he's up into third place. And he's done a 16.9 on his last lap. He's only 7.2 seconds behind Cthulhu and easily catching him on last pace. Noxy, I suppose up into fourth place, but he was higher than that at the beginning of the race. He's on mediums. His best lap is a 92, but he's, uh, he's mostly in the 20s. Siberian Tiger, 17.3 is the last test, 18.5 the last time around, he's on medium tyres. He's only 5 seconds behind Noxy, he's got Talleyrand behind him by 1.5, he's doing okay, that time's really 19.2 the last time round. He's on the mediums also, Noxy, what's he doing? Did he have a penalty? Tiger now up to seventh and fourth place on their seventh lap. Ten minutes into the race. Sixteen seconds behind Casper. Siberian Tiger, so he's got a lot of work to do. Noxy staying with him. Talleyrand staying with Noxy. So we could have a little race on our hands here. If we're lucky. Mine still shows Kale trying to get out of the pits. Oh, he's doing a wheelie now or something. How weird. Look at that. Front end of the car, right up in the air. Also. Oh, he's probably in this race. He's probably fourth or something. Of Casper, who's still got a penalty. Is that the same penalty? Is he just not shedding it on the start straight line? Does he not know the rule? Ooh, we'll never know. But he's only five and a half seconds now behind Tudor. 16 seconds ahead of Siberian Tiger. Who the last we saw was in a bit of a race with Noxy Talleran, but they've all drifted apart. Up now is looking like he's catching up with Talleyrand for a race. Jokers is in the pits. I wonder if he can get past Kale. We'll soon see. Carbon Dwarf's already gone ahead of him. I'm just going to lose people as they go in the pits, aren't I? This is what the deal is. Put right hards on. No, he hasn't. He must be going off. He's well, he's got out of the pits, so that's all right. Kale's still pulling wheelies. Calm Dwarfs jumped Jokas with the pit stop, but he's still got a pit himself. He's on right hard, so he could probably just try and drive as long and late as he can into this race. Koi Kart still holding that same position away from Talaran. Talaran is six seconds behind Knox. He did a 1.23 last. So. He's now drifted 
Seven seconds ahead away from Siberian Tiger. 16.9 seconds behind Casper. Casper is still... <laughs> he's got... He's going to... If that's the same penalty, then he will get another penalty because you're meant to spend your penalty on the start straight line. As soon as you get it. And it looks like he's been carrying the same penalty around for about four laps now. But he's, he's catching up to that. He's only 5.9 seconds behind Graham. Has Graham pitted? Um, if he has pitted, he didn't take fuel on. So... Ooh, this is it. Well, he's pitted and he's had an off. What's he doing? Because he wants to go in the pits. Yeah, put some fuel on that. Oh, no. Oh, it's not letting him go in the pits because it was so late. I think they've re put him on the pits and Katuda has taken the lead. Katuda's taken the lead. He's yet to pit, but he is on the right hard tyres. He's still got plenty of fuel. It's all gone wrong for Graham. We've got an off somewhere on the straight. No. So yeah, Katuda's taking the lead. I oh, Graham could well run out of fuel on this lap. Casper's caught right up. Casper's now only nine tenths, eight tenths. It's Graham, it's all gone wrong. It really has gone wrong for our mate Gray. Siberian Tiger, it's 17, doing the fast lap, but this is the, the, the moves on here, or the fuel's run out. little bit of that to get it back to the pits. He's lost two positions. I'm sure he's been in the pits to put hard tyres on. But uh, I don't know if he fueled up. Which, hey, it's happened to me before. He just puts the tyres on and leaves straight away. Think, hey, Is he going in? He's going in, yes. He's going in to get his fuel. Look at that, 1%. He was on fumes. So now, Casper, 2.6 seconds behind Cthulhu. Cthulhu, all you've got to do to keep banging them lap times in, but 18.5 against 16.6, it won't be long. Io Graham still in the pits. Noxie going to get round ahead of him. He's on the pit start straight. No, he's pitted. Io Graham's out. Io Graham's out. Talleran's passed. Noxie has got into the pits. Yeah, he needed to. He needed the fuel, and he needs to get some hards onto that tar car. Carbon. He's had a pit stop because he's on right mediums and he was on hards and he's got some fuel in there. So he's coming rounds. Koi Kart's gone in. Koi Kart's gone in, needed to. He's going to put mediums on for the last 14 minutes of this race. He's out. Carbon's jumped them all with pits. That's amazing. I didn't think he was that close to him to be able to do so. But it looks to me like he's jumped Jokas and Koi in his pit stop strategy. So well done to Carp. Oh, Talarand. He's going for the wide line in that corner. IR Graham. Oh, we've got the leaders in. All three leaders in. Oh, no. Noxie's stuck behind Kale. I wondered if someone was going to get stuck behind him. Tudor's still putting fuel in. Siberian Tiger's come round to take the lead. But he needs to pit. He needs to pit, and that'll be on this next one. Katula's out. Casper's out. I.R. Graham is there. He's gone round the outside. He's taken Casper, but he's gone for the wide line. He's gone for that wide line and ended up behind Casper. Talarand is in. He's getting boots and new fuel. Noxie is definitely stuck behind Kale. So that's not helpful. Could Carpen seventh? He's got past Carbon. What happened? What a shame. I see Noxie and Kale trying to. Well, that's that. Oh, oh, Talaran's come out. He's come out ahead of Carbon, which is all good. Right hard's on fuel full fuel tank. Not not many of the others have gone for a full fuel tank. 
turn around Doctor 2. Noxie looks like he's stuck behind Kale in the pits. Ooh, trippy man. Ooh, he nearly made it through then, didn't he? Oh well. So Siberian Tiger's in for the pits. Let's hope he doesn't get stuck. Two has gone through already. Casper in second. Uh, uh, Graham in third. Siberian in fourth. Oh, uh, Graham. Koikart. Oh, he's a bit too far past him. Behind him to be able to jump him in the pits. He's out. Now in fourth place. 13 seconds. 14 seconds behind I.R. Graham. Uh, Graham is now like... Ooh, he's catching up to Casper and Cthulhu. Might have a three-way battle here for the for the first place. Spaniards doing a fine job. Ooh, I say that he's done a 144 and a 120. There must have been his pit stops. Yeah, he has just pitted. So yeah, but it's not out that wasn't as fast as Casper's. Oh, Graham, 19, 18.9. So yeah. Got a nice little fight on our hands here. I thought Carlin had already appeared, but it looks like he's been in again. Tudor's still holding that first position. Someone's had an off. Or no, it'll be the pit lane weirdness. Looks like Tudor's not going to be able to hold on to this lead for much longer. Casper's pulling out to take a look. No, it's not letting me jump in the cars again weird thing. So Casper is all over the back of the Spaniards. Flying Finn. Taking no prisoners. Trying to pick his place. Whereas I.R. Graham, I think he's just hanging back and saying, you guys go ahead. Because I think I can pick up from the mess. See, now that's showing Kale in at fifth. See, so even Kale was probably in this race all along and he's not stuck in the pits. So Knox is probably not stuck behind Kale. Who knows, eh? There's Kale getting topped up with fuel. Seventh place ahead of Talaran. Jokus is coming round. And he's doing all sorts. Carbon taking a similar line to Jokus. But Talaran's out. He's out ahead of him in sixth place. Behind Koi Carp. Who's pitted, going to the end, and spinning. Oh no. Talaran now takes that spot easily. And what about Kale? Kale's out. He's in seventh. It's 18 seconds behind Koi Car, which is great because we thought he was stuck in the pits from our view. So now he's only 6.1 seconds behind. Where's Casper? I'm sure we were watching Casper all over Cthulhu. But he's not now. He's back into third position. Seven seconds behind I.R. Graham. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. That did not go well for whatever Flying Finn tried to do then. I.R. Graham has now caught Cthulhu in his turn to try and get past. It's the catching up with it looks like Noxy up the road. Who on my feed looks like he's stuck in the pit lane, so... Oh no, that's Joker, sorry. I thought it was the 7 on delivery, I think it's the max delivery. So I.R. Graham's only 6 tenths, 7 tenths behind Cthulhu. There's Joker's again doing that weird line for the game. He's catching him up. It's definitely an overtaking move which is going to be happening any time soon. Ooh, ooh. Come on. Where are you going to go? The outside? Cthulhu's gone defensive. Make Graham do the hard work around the outside. Oh, now he's come over to protect his line. just patiently waiting for his moment. He probably already knows what corner he's going to do with him. He's decided he's going to just sit behind his toe and take the opportunity on the corners. But all the time he's sat there behind Cthulhu, Casper is eating up time behind him and catching him back into this race. But here we 
can see. Lap 17, 30 minute feature race of the VRC Max 5. Second season of the first round at Goodwood. Seven minutes from the end of the race, and we've still got first and second hotly contested. Which is great. It's amazing. Over a 30 minute race, and still, it's not all spread out. And that's it. Under brakes, easily. Just takes first place. Cotillo. They're both on mediums. Tire wear is about similar. It's just down to road driving. But IR Graham proved in the first round with the pole, fastest lap, and race win. Traditional race win. He, he knows what he's doing in one of these MX5s. Casper, 16.6, he's fighting back, he's fighting back but he's running out of time, he's 5.3 seconds behind Cthulhu, oh, we've got an off somewhere, Almost. there we go, Carbon, he's still ahead of Jokers, that's not the road, that's the road, 16 seconds behind Koi Carp, but 20, it was 29 seconds on the Chokers, but is he still? Chokers, there you go. He's trying new lines out, seeing how that line worked. Mine still says Knox is in the pits, but he probably isn't. Uh, Graham leading to front Cthulhu by one and a half seconds. Casper is catching up Cthulhu by what? Virtually a second a lap, maybe? Half a second a lap? So we might, just by near the end of this race, be all over him. Behind Casper, it's Siberian Tiger. So it's a so-so race, he, he was blinding off the line. He was up there fighting for first. But I think he had an off, dropped down to fourth, and he's been sort of around that position for the rest of the race. His so lap times are up and down, 21. 17-21. Talarand. Solid fifth place. Just really to that with Joe Cass. Head of Kale by 10 seconds. Kale, I thought we'd lost him, so it's great to see him in the race. Six seconds, 10 seconds behind. I mean, sixth. 10 seconds behind Talarand and, and 15 seconds ahead of Koikar. Koikar just been lapped by Katuli. Carbon somewhere there. There he is, taking that other line again. Jokas, there he is. He's decided to take out brake marker boards. Obviously in the pits. Oh, uh, Graham in the lead by 2.6 seconds now. Cthulhu in second, just done his fastest lap time, which isn't helping Casper because Casper is trying to catch him up. Doesn't want him doing his fastest lap times, but he's still four seconds behind, four minutes remaining. So three laps to go, say. <clears throat> so Bearing Tiger is 21 seconds behind Casper. He's just about to lap Carbon. He's on his fastest lap. 29 seconds behind him, we have Talarand. 8.4 seconds ahead of Kale. Kale's pulling him in slowly. He's doing an 18-1, 19-2, 19-4, consistent. Kale's doing 16-9, 16-5s now, so yeah, he's, he's dropping the hammer. But it might be too late. We'll have to wait and see. Carbs only 16 seconds behind. He's just done his fastest lap with 17.5. Mediums do go rather down. With Carbon Dwarf just behind him. Taking all sorts of wonderful weird lines around the track. He's just about to get lapped by Siberian Tiger. Which ironically wasn't it. It's Siberian Tiger he knocked off the track at the beginning. So there, there really isn't a race on at the moment. Maybe Kale trying to catch up Talarand. No, no, 
a Siberian Lapin. It's just Casper catching up Cthulhu, which he's three and a half seconds to the better of. He's tenth up on his own time. today, except for a couple of those wiggles. And there you go, 116.1. Two tenths off a of fastest lap time, three seconds behind Cthulhu, with two minutes to go. So, probably two, this lap and another lap. Cthulhu, 17.1, 16.8. I mean, he's not, he's not hanging about. Three and a half seconds behind Graham. It's not such a big a lead as he got in the uh, feature uh, the sprint race. This is the feature race. But he's there. Three point seven. It's an off, but that was probably a joke. Oh, I, I are Graham. Oh, Graham's had an off. Oh no. Casper's up into second. Can Siberian Tiger? A bit too much for I.R. Oh, Graham. Where did that come from? Everything looks steady. Only a minute left to go. Casper's now in second. Tudor looks like he's going to win the race. Fantastic. Alonso-esque. Why not? He's a Spaniard. They love him. Fernando Cthulhu, we'll call him from now on. Amazing stuff. Did the right things at the right times. Sat in the right places. Didn't make a mistake. Came through after 30 minutes of racing and looks strong to win. Casper, he would disagree though. With a 1.6 seconds behind, he's he's gonna try. He's gonna try, but this has got to be the final lap. The time is gonna run out. Wow, what a twist at the end. I am Graham. He must be in that car expletives everywhere there must be f words in there c words the all the words the really bad ones as well they must be all getting uttered right now nine tenths oh my no Cthulhu he gains he gains it's the last lap he's seven tenths ahead can he hold on to it Casper Talleran's just crossed the line in sixth fifth sorry it's close Oh, keep it steady, Cthulhu. Flying fins on his way. Seven tenths, six tenths. They're both through the chicane. No one hit anything. It's tight. It's five tenths. Fernando Cthulhu takes the win. Casper, the flying fin, second place. I.R. Graham takes third, sideways. Siberian Tiger coming around to take fourth place. Could have been a different story for him. He had some unfortunate things go his way. And he's taking fourth. VRC, Talarand in fifth. Kale in sixth. Koi Karp seventh. Noxy eighth. Carbon ninth. Joker's tenth. Noxy still in the pits, but he finished eighth. Nice race, Lars. And there we go. Victory goes to. R R L Cthulhu Fernando Up six places. Great win. That's fantastic. So that brings us to the end of round one. I'm gonna try and do this every Saturday, so you know I'll be nattering away. It wasn't great, I know, but you'll get better. Um the racing was great. If you want to get involved in the racing, find Virtual Racing Racers Club on, on Facebook and that'll direct you to Discord. And they're always got some sort of league going on, signing up to the next league. The championship tables for the race you've seen will be put up there. So, yeah, get involved. You've seen how much fun it is. It's fantastic. And I'll um, I'll catch you next time. I'm on 
doing this silly business.